I think Donald Trump, to his credit, showed us with Soleimani and with ISIS, he destroyed them. And Iran did not do anything. And I, 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 there would be no way Hamas was doing this between 2017 and January of 21. They had a small war, but they never did anything like this. And I don't think Vladimir Putin would have gone into Ukraine. And I don't think that China, China would have sent a balloon and, and just because they he was unpredictable and they thought the United States would be very, uh, it would be a dangerous thing to tempt it. And I think we want to get back to that. It doesn't mean we have to have the Trumpian re rhetoric, but he set a model. I think everybody says, wow, 2014, a Biden administration, they moved in Ukraine, the Russians did. 2017 to 20, they did not. Why? Uh, Iran talking like they're going to just do this and do this and do this to us. Suddenly, for four years, they're quiet. And everybody said, if you move the embassy to Jerusalem, if you say that the Golden Heights shall be Isra Israeli, if you cut off the 700 million to the Palestinians, if you say that you're not going to give one dime to Hamas, you can't do that. And he did it all and nothing happened. And that was because we were strong and reliable. And I think we'll be that way again. And I think once we, if we were to do that, then allies like Australia can be assured that they don't have to go out on a limb. And that's the real, that's the real issue, isn't it? Because when we step back, then Japan and Australia and Taiwan, and they're confronted with a China, they'll say, look, the United States is in decline. You better cut a deal with us, or at least understand that we're here. And then it, we can't ask countries that don't have the wherewithal to stand up to these global bullies. And when we step back, we put them in an impossible situation. But when we step up and we say, we're not asking you to be at the point of the steer, but we're asking all of us to have shared interest and to sacrifice together in deterring these people, then we're always surprised how many allies we have. I, and I don't know why we don't understand that lesson. Some presidents understand it, some don't. But you can't put allies in a position where they have to profess 110% solidarity with the United States when the United States doesn't believe in itself and is going to put them in jeopardy for that for that fealty. And that's just a, a law of diplomacy. And I think to our blame, we didn't understand that. We we used to understand it, but we, we lost that. I think it will come back again that we won't do that again, I'm hoping.